start uh, with Linux kernel and we support diversified computing power. And then we expand our territory to support all scenarios to uh, make OS running for the uh, information technology, communication technology, and also operational technology. And then we expand our vision to support AI as well. We think it's important for operating system to uh, use AI and better support AI. But today, my topic is about how to make OS support future AI infrastructure. So our vision is that we think AI is so important, it will be everywhere and there will be no separate AI infrastructure. It will be a converged infrastructure to support both, both general computing and also AI computing. So our proposal is that we believe there will be a converged container stack for both general computing and AI computing. And also there will be a converged OS to support all these heterogeneous hardware. So let's go to uh, some details. If you look into the current large language model stack, and also you think how to deploy, develop, and running that large language model, you'll see that the AI infrastructure ch challenge is about performance and also about efficiency. And you know what? From our operating system people, from our container people, from our view, it's not a new challenge. It's, come, it's actually something we're quite familiar already we use container to solve these issues for years already. So our idea is very simple and straightforward because there's already container solutions for the general purpose computing why we just extend them to support AI as well. And we actually make some achievements already. We see that if we provide a converged container stack to support both general computing and also AI computing, we actually can achieve quicker innovation and higher efficiency. For the uh, innovation piece, we can see that because of we are able to broaden the hardware and uh, open source model compatibility, it's very easy to deploy large language model in our system. And also, uh, there's quite comprehensive ways we can do monitoring, inspection, and altering, and also self-healing ways for the language model. By using OpenOver, we currently be able to provide a out-of-box functionality if you're interested in AI stack. And on the other hand, if you use AI stack we provided, it's not only functionality ready, it's also we have the out-of-box reliability and, and, and also performance. We made some uh, tests, uh, made some proof of concept demo that we are able to both achieve a, reliability for the AI training scenarios, and we'll also be able to achieve the performance for the inference scenario. And more importantly, for us, because we leverage the latest container technology, it's able for us to uh, deploy both the general purpose computing uh, task and also the AI task with high density. We can see that by multi-task MPU or GPU, we're able to achieve quite a lot throughput increase and also we are able to achieve the hybrid deployment for CPU utilization actually be, actually be doubled. Oh, uh, this is about our converged uh, container stack. And if you look into the hardware, we can see that we both uh, also need a uh, converged OS for the heterogeneous beast. We want to tame that. And why is that? Because we see that if you look into the heterogeneous hardware, it's always a challenge for the software to be innovation because the hardware always change and you always have to rewrite your base, uh, foundation piece of code. And we want to accelerate that. And also we see that always new computing, uh, there's always new computing paradigm, uh, like uh, near data computing, uh, inline NDP, uh, or PIM, processing memory, all these things, we want to provide a way that you can always adopt these new ways to do, uh, to, to, to program. And also we want to provide a, a future-proof large-scale interconnection and also you can always make your application adapt to the hardware ad advancement and also you are able to support all these flexible dynamic workloads. And our idea is that Given these, all these challenges, what we want to do, we, we want to provide a converged base for all these heterogeneous hardwares. We can do the unified abstraction for all these heterogeneous hardware. We provide a 
heterogeneous computing unit as an abstraction. And based on that, we can see that we can uh, achieve a higher throughput for all these uh, workloads uh, we want to scale up in a super node. And if make a large scale, a larger scale, then it can be it can be connected by a network that can uh, we can see that we want to achieve higher utilization uh, for the scale out workloads in the cluster. Uh, by working on that, we can see it's not only about scale up and also scale out. It's also about simplified access, about ultimate utilization and efficiency, and also a unified management. So by providing an OS, we can actually achieve all these things. And if we combine both the converged OS with the container stack, we can not only uh, achieve uh, the, uh, the advancement I mentioned before, but also we can provide a high reliable, high performance, secure, and easy scalability software stack, the uh, systems of the stack. We think it's the way to addressing the challenge in the intelligent air. And that's also what OpenOILA wants to provide. Uh, I talk a lot about the intelligent solution, but it's only part of the OpenOILA project. We are always enhance and upgrade the capability for our release. And the, all, all the intelligent solution I mentioned is just one part. And also we still focus on broader scenario support from server to embedded. And also we continue work on the diversified computing powers from CPU to GPU to NPU and also DPU. And we are also one of the best institutions to support RISC-V as well. And so there's one more thing I want to mention. Is, uh, uh, all these intelligent solutions is not about, not only about server or the cloud, it's also about embedded. We actually have the uh, booth uh, on the first floor and we bring some hardware to show our multi-OS hybrid deployment solution. And uh, for OpenOILA in the embedded scenarios, we are able to uh, deploy uh, OpenOILA together with other real-time OS, given it's Cypher or other real-time ones, uh, it can be static partitioned. It can be also virtualized dynamic partition, uh, virtualized hybrid ways. So by working on that, we can deploy both OpenOil and other real-time OS on our high OLED Pi. So this small device, or even smaller, the Hong Old Pi Paco. Uh, if you want to know more details, just go to our booth and we can have a better discussion. Uh, as mentioned, that OpenOILA is already four years, and uh, we actually grew, we actually grows very fast. We, given the very large base of the Chinese Chinese development developers, we already one of the world biggest community. You can see these numbers, and you can also scan the code to see some live data about the stati statistic number of the community, and also given uh, the market share. Uh, OpenOIL has also increased very steadily. We uh, start very small as nobody in the market. And for the last year, we already be the biggest one, the number one installation base in China already. And we expect this trend will continue and will be the biggest operating system in China market. And we are not only in China, but also we build a very broad, we, build, uh, we already build a very broad connection with all these global developers given the Open Infra, Linux Foundation, Apache, and Eclipse. And also, uh, we are the communicating platform for the global developers and Chinese companies, even it's WeChat or BitDance or other, or other platforms. So uh, that concludes my slides. Uh, thanks, for, thanks for listening, and I hope more people will get familiar with OpenOILA. And uh, we have the room uh, on the on the first floor is room 016. It's all open for days and it will be a mini submit. Uh, you can find the room by looking to the uh, logo and you're very welcome to come, give suggestions and have discussions. So thank you again and uh, looking forward to the next year.